All right, hello. Um, this is the video for going over the concept builder of law enforcement explosions on the physics classroom website. And this is just meant as like a guide for like if you have trouble getting started. Um, obviously, if you don't really need the video, you can do it in your head, that's fine. This is just me walking you through it. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the concept builder right here. Okay, we're gonna full screen it and we'll go ahead and we'll start. So let me start with some of the apprentice level questions. Um, we'll just go from there. All right, reading the instructions. Uh, two spring-loaded carts are at rest on a low friction track. The spring is released, pushing the carts away from each other. Three situations are shown. Identify any situation that violates the law of momentum conservation. Uh, the bricks on top of the carts have the same mass as the cart, and the arrows, once again, represent the velocity of the cart. So here's the key what you're looking for. Notice that for all three of these scenarios right here, they're not moving. So that tells you that the total momentum is zero, which also tells you that if the total momentum is zero for the before scenario, then the total momentum has to be equal to zero in the final scenario. And you might be going like, well, hey, they're moving. How can the momentum be zero? Well, don't forget that, you know, when we're talking about one dimensional motion, right, you have forwards and you have backwards. Forwards being the positive direction and backwards being the negative direction. So if you look at these carts right here, you have one cart that's going to the right, let's call that the positive direction, and one cart that's going to the left, let's call that the negative direction. So what you're really looking for is you're looking for the momentum of the carts to be the same, but in opposite directions. Does that make sense? So here, let me show you this. So as I said, total momentum has to be zero. So this guy has one mass and one, two, three velocity. So one times three has a momentum of three, right? Right here, you have a momentum, or sorry, a mass of one, two, three, and you have a velocity of one. Three times one is the same as one times three. So these momentums are the same, but in opposite directions. For this guy right here, momentum is conserved. Let's take a look down here. We have one mass times two velocity, one times two, and we have two mass times one velocity. And so last time I checked, one times two is the same as two times one, momentum is conserved. I bet you already, and this isn't really a high stakes bet, that this last one is going to violate the conservation momentum, but let's just make sure. Um, so you have three mass, two, three, times one, two, three velocity, three times three is nine. And you have two mass and two velocity, two times two is four. Last time I checked, nine is not equal to four. And so this guy violates conservation momentum. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll go to the main menu. And let's do one of the more advanced ones at master level. Okay, same scenario, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Um, all right, so take a look, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so mass of three, velocity of one. Mass of two, velocity of two. Three times one is three. Two times two is four. That does not work. Mass of one, Velocity of one, two, three, so momentum of three. Mass of one, two, three, velocity of two, so it's six. One times three is three, three does not equal to six, so that violates conservation momentum. Two times one is two, one times two, this one's good. And there we go. 
for some reason, even though I'm sitting here doing the examples, I'm always nervous that I'm going to get it wrong. And then you guys will be like, ha, you didn't know everything. All right. That's all my internal fears. All right. All right, same scenario. Let's see if we can do wizard level. Okay. So one mass, one, two, three velocity. So there's that. Three mass, one velocity. This one's good. Two mass, one velocity, one mass, two velocity. That one's good. Three mass, three velocity. That's nine. Two mass, two velocity. It's four. That violates conservation momentum. My wife is signaling to me that the baby might be awake. So that's our birds, yes. All right, so that's the end of our video. Let me know if you guys need any help beyond that. As always, I'm available during office hours.